Hello everyone, I'm going to show you guys how to fix your Mac Wi-Fi problems, especially if you have OS X Yosemite. One of the first things we have to do, and one of the things we have to understand as well, is that in most cases, when we lose connectivity, it might not be your ISP, or might not be your uh, internet provider in this case. In some cases, it's pretty much a Mac problem, a Mac issue, and this is very easily fixed. Uh, one of the things we know is that, and that, that we have discovered, is a variety of wireless network connectivity issues with Yosemite OS X, and these are from anywhere from dropping Wi-Fi connection to the inability to connect to the outside world, even though your modem is online and your router is on and blinking, you will lose connectivity, you will not be able to go to the internet for whatever reason. So one of the things that I found out, especially uh, with my Power Mac, uh, is that one of the things we have to do is we have to delete all the preferred networks because when we have this scenario, it's actually causing uh, confusion and sometimes the files get corrupted. The easiest way to get there would be to click on the Apple menu here, then you go to System Preferences, and then we just click on Network right here. When we click to Network, we look for the Wi-Fi network. We have several other types of connection that most Macs have. So one thing we have to do is we click here, then we click on Advanced. Then we have here the list of all the preferred networks. Now, if, uh, I've already fixed this computer, but uh, let's just say that you just travel a lot and you connect at Starbucks, at the hotels, at work, at home. Basically, you will have a lot of prefer networks here. You have to delete one by one. So the first thing we do is we delete them, right? So we just click on them and click on the minus button. That will delete those networks. Then we click OK. Once you're done, right? Then we apply these. And once we apply, we go back here to our network icon. And then what we do is we turn it off turn off our network. Then we go ahead and we close this window. The next thing we need to do is we go to our magnifying glass here and we type in keychain. Keychain, in most cases it will auto populate it for you. So we just type in keychain access, right? In case it doesn't auto populate it and it should always be the first option. You double click on there and it will bring you here. Now, sometimes it will default here or here or here. Basically, we go to the login default or click on the login. And now you will have a lot of files here. Obviously, you don't know which ones to delete. The easiest way is to, on the search field on the upper right, just type in airport. And that should give you all the preferred network profiles that you have in your, in your Mac in this case. I only have one because I've already cleaned it. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to click the delete button, which will be your back button. So I click delete. Obviously, in this case, it's asking me for an admin password. In most cases, this will be the same, the same for you. So, uh, so you need to have that handy. Otherwise, you will not be able to complete this task. Then once you do that, you click modify keychain and then it's going to ask you, are you sure? Yes. Don't worry. It's not going to mess your computer by no means. It's basically going to recreate these once you turn on your Mac and log into your network again. So in this case, we just uh, close this window. We're done here, right? Then we see our network is off. So we need to click on here to turn it on. Obviously, it's going to start thinking. We'll let it think. Sometimes it takes a little bit. So obviously, finding all the networks around you. Once we do that, we go to our network, we click on our network, it's going to ask us our password again. Now this is going to create the, the file again, right? So you click join, and in this case it's thinking, boom, or it's already connected because we see our Wi-Fi indicator here, it's pretty much full bars, and we just open any browser. We can go to Yahoo, 
and that should not only speed up a little bit your connectivity but it also replaces a corrupt file that in this case you probably have and then again it's always good to um, uh, delete networks that you're not connecting to and once in a while do these just in case your file gets corrupted but as you can see it's pretty easy um, so again thank you very much